welcome to another episode of Make It! This episode, I'm going to be showing you how I make a little tiny pouch to hold whatever you want. Money, crystals, severed heads of your victims, uh, whatever it is, it doesn't matter. Okay, so the things you're going to need are scissors, needle and thread. This is cotton thread so that I can dye it, and also because it is the same color as the other cotton that I have. This is 100% uh, cotton duck cloth, which I'm using, and it's also dyeable, so I can change the color if I want. Uh, you need some cord, I'm just using twine. Um, I think it's hemp twine. And optionally, you could use some pins. Now, um, the color of twine doesn't matter. This doesn't matter, this could be made out of anything that you want. I just like simplicity, so I'm doing it this way. So you're going to want to cut out a piece two times, uh, uh, double the length of whatever you're going to be making, um, because you're going to be folding it over and sewing it. Uh, before I start, I just want to say that I'm currently in Florida, and I'm in a hotel room, and this is an ironing board because it's easily moved and goody. So, <laughs> uh, we're going to start off by, um... We're going to be taking the cord. Actually, no, we'll do this after. We're going to start off by sewing this up. So we're going to take it and fold it so that it matches the uh, edge. So it's right in half. Fold it right in half. And then you're going to want to take some pins if you're going to choose to do this. You don't need to. And pin them through so the fabric doesn't move around. Now, I suggest using pins because they're just a lot easier and the fabric's not going to move on you and it's not going to get messed up. Okay, so, once you get your pins in place, this will stay just like this, and you don't, don't have to worry about it moving around. So you're going to take your needle and thread. Now, this might be a little bit difficult to see, because the thread's like the exact same color as the, um, the fabric. So I'm going to start off at the top. Now, this is the, where the opening is going to be, and I'm just going to put it, if you want to zoom in here, Tiff. Um, <laughs> if you just want to, you want to start by putting it in right through the top, like that, okay? And pulling it through, and now... Uh, I tied the end of this and I uh, cut off the end. So you're going to take this, okay, and you're going to want to put it through the loop that's here. Just like, whoop. Kind of hard to do it sometimes. Just put it right through the loop. Just like that, okay? And then you're going to come out and pull it tight so that it won't come undone. And then you're just going to want to start this is called a whip stitch, or there's a lot of different names, but that's what I call it. And you're just going to always put it in through the same side, and it's always going to come out through the same side, so it's going to loop around it. I'm not sure how well you can see that. Um, but just to see the final way this is going to look, I have some something right here. You can really see the contrast and the color with this one. See how it moves around it? That's basically what you want to do. So you always go in through the same side. You don't weave in and out, you go around. Whip stitch. So, I'm just going to keep doing that now. And it shouldn't take long, and you could make this super tight if you want. You could make these really far apart or really close together depending on um, how secure you want it to be. I'm putting each stitch probably about a quarter of an inch. Um, apart from one another. This blue fabric here is the same material, it's just a little bit thicker. And it's uh, my coat that I made. And I put it on here because the cutting board's the exact same color as this fabric, so you wouldn't be able to see what I was doing. Me and Tiff started filming and you couldn't see it at all. I actually moved the rest of my stuff and I, the fabric was still on and I didn't even notice it was on, so... <laughs> We're almost finished with this side. And you can make these huge if you want to. I have a backpack, which is pretty much a huge one of these. Almost done. Just like three or four more to go. Then I'll show you how to tie it off. I mean, you could go online and look how to really securely tie these, but I mean, I feel like I have a pretty moderate method of doing so. It hasn't failed me, so... Okay, one more. Oh, keeps getting caught on these pins. And that's the last one. Okay, so. 
once you're here, the last stitch, you don't want to pull it all the way through. So you're going to take um, the needle and you're going to pass it through the loop that you made. And then you're going to pull it. And that will make a knot. And then you want to just put it through again. Put it right through where the same stitch is. And then you just want to pull it through the knot again. Or pull through the loop again. And that will make a knot. And there you go. That's one of the sides done. So I'm going to take my scissors and cut that. And this, this will be enough to do the other side. Cool. So now, this, so I'll show you how I thread this real quick too. So you have your thread. It's going to be twice as long as you need it to be. And I usually make it a lot longer than I need it to be because I don't want to have to retie it. So you're going to put it through the loop. This is very difficult sometimes. Especially if it's really small. Oh, there we go. And then you're going to want to connect the two ends and just tie a normal overhand <coughs> knot. And then you want to cut off right to the knot so that there's no tail. So that's a loop now. So again, we're just going to start at the top here. Oh. Right at the top. Take the knot and pass it through, pass the needle through the loop. Okay, and then just start sewing again. Now, um, I figured I'd do this because one, it's really hard to make stuff in a hotel room unless it's something like this. I brought this stuff so I could make some stuff if I was bored, which I've been doing all day and every day I've been here. And um, this is pretty much something anyone can do without any practice of ever sewing. You could do this easily. So that's fun. Any, uh, you might want, if you're a little bit younger, you might want your mom or dad to help you out with this. You probably have a sewing kit somewhere. If you don't, needles and thread and this kind of fabric are very cheap. And you don't need the pins. But they just help. Um, so we're about halfway done here. Uh, and you could do this with a sewing machine as well, but I don't like to use sewing machines because I am weird like that. A sewing machine would be, you could have made five of these by that time, honestly, but I just prefer doing it like this. <laughs> if you do have a sewing machine, you could definitely do that. You can make much more elaborate ones. First ones of these I made, I was probably three or four years old with my mom's sewing machine and her help, obviously. I wasn't just making them by myself, but <laughs> I used to make a bunch of these and then if I ever had to pay anyone, I'd pay them in coins and quarters with these. I thought it was so cool doing that. <laughs> but then I wasted like an hour of work because I was so young and it was so difficult for me to make them. Alrighty. Whoop. Almost done. One more stitch after this. Again, this is called a whip stitch, if you want to look it up. Okay, so we're at the end again. Now we're going to take the needle and just put it through the loop, like last time, and pull it tight. And one more time. Through. Fabric, through the loop. And pull it tight. Okay, excellent. So we're going to cut that off. We don't need that anymore. Well, we do in a minute, but not the point. So you can take out these pins. And this bag is pretty much good to go. Um, I mean, we're not going to use it yet, but what you're going to want to do is take it and you're going to want to put your fingers inside and grab onto the bottom of it and pull it out and turn it inside out. And what that's going to do, hang on, sometimes you got to do that to get all the corners and stuff out because it's weird sometimes, but basically that's going to make it so you can't see any of the stitching. See, that's what it looks like now and it's really clean and looks good and I could fill this up with whatever and it'd be fine but it, the problem is you can't you can't really close it right now so what we're gonna do to fix that is we're gonna turn it inside out again okay and it's gonna now the edges look like that that's not what you want because that just doesn't look good and what we're gonna do is um, we're going to want to take one of the sides, okay, and we just want to cut. Now we're going to want to take this and fold it over a little bit, kind of.
kind of mess around a little bit and get it to fold over just like that. Okay, see how that is now? And we're going to want to um, cut a little triangle shape into the middle of it, only on one side. So now there's a little triangle shape in that you can see. Okay, so we're going to turn this inside out again. Or no, we're just going to undo that part. And now we're going to want to take the cord we're going to be using and put it there where it's actually we're going to, what are we going to do here? Give me a second. You got to mess around with these sometimes. Okay. So you're going to want to take both ends of the cord, okay, and put them through this hole and just pull them out a bit and then take this, this is a little difficult to mess around with, but um, basically you're just going to want to get this so that it's snug all the way around and then you just want to turn this inside out again or loop this around rather. This is a little fiddly, this is kind of annoying to get right, but just take your time, there's no rush. You could pull on the string to make it a little bit more tight if you need to. And you want to get it so all the twine is right up at the, or whatever you're using as a string, is right up to the fold. Okay, so that's pretty good. Now, eh, it's alright. You really don't want to accidentally sew this because it won't you won't be able to use it if you do like you don't want to accidentally sew the um the cord because once you pull on it you won't it won't work it won't pull okay that looks okay so I'm gonna take some more of these pins and these are also very useful right here and I'm gonna pin these edges and I don't really want to pin the twine but if you do it's not the end of the world. So you're just pinning these in, the only reason I'm using these pins is so the stuff stays in place so when I'm moving it around it doesn't come undone, which is very useful, especially if you're a little bit younger and it's not easy for you to keep everything all moved and perfect. So I, I suggest these no matter how old you are, but they just make your the job easier. Okay. So now I'm going to take some more thread because I'm almost out. And again, I take, oh, whoa, that fell way on the ground, whatever. I want to take a lot more than I need. I'm going to take this thread off. I'll thread this again. Get through the eye. This is a really s the needle hole is very small. So Before you start cords. sewing, make sure that um, the this is what you see. You don't want it to be right side out. So it's inside out right now, and you want it to be like that when you do this part. So you're just going to put the needle through this right here. This is the um, the part you're sewing is that little edge that you made. You're just going to look at that. And now we're doing a different stitch. Um, we're basically just going to, so this is on through the side now and I'm going to flip this and go back through another probably quarter of an inch through. I'm going to pull that through and see, see how that is right there. Okay, I'm going to keep doing that all the way around, and then this will be very, this string will be very secure in there, and it will all be good. This is very easy stitch to do again. Um, you can see how that is like that. It's super simple. It's called a super simple stitch. It's not. Sorry, I lied. It was a joke. Don't give me hate for it. Please, I beg of thee. Do not give it to me. Okay, for real though. So we're just gonna go around and sew this all the way around until we get back. Sometimes the thread gets kind of balled up when you pull it through, so you gotta be careful of that. And you can just pull out the pins as you go. That's what I do.
and parents, this is a really fun thing you can make with your kids no matter how old they are, they'll love it. So do it. Don't even think about it. Just do it. If you have some old curtains you ain't using, just cut them up. You could do this out of you could do this out of leather. You could do this out of anything that's similar to this material. I've made a lot of these made out of leather. There's actually one out in the woods right now, full of uh, flint and uh, flint and steel. Uh, I used to start fires, and it keeps everything very dry in there. So that's good. This will not keep anything dry whatsoever because this is very th it's pretty thin cloth, but leather is a lot more resistant to water. Okay. So we're pretty much done here. I'm just gonna go through and then come back out one more time. So that was pretty quick as you could see. We edited that a little bit there. But um Yeah, so so pull that, make sure it's um good. And then you just wanna okay, so once you're here, the string is coming out right here. I'm gonna take the needle and loop it through the the uh last bit of thread I'm gonna pull it through like that and then I'm gonna loop it through the one I just pulled through and that will caught on the bag and that will tie it into a knot okay I'm gonna do that one more time I always do double knots because they're better triple knots are good four knots are excessive now that's good now I'm gonna cut off this we don't need to do any more sewing it's done for the most part Okay, now, one more thing we're going to do before we end this is we're going to, um, what are we going to do? We're going to take this, oop, the end of this, and we're just going to tie it, we're going to cut it, well, we're going to tie it right about here, and just a knot, we're going to tie both of them so they don't come undone, and a knot like that, just a simple, normal knot, and then we can cut it, like, right here, okay? So, okay, now what we're, now what we're going to do is we're just going to take the whole bag, and turn it inside out like that. Okay. Well, this is it. It's done. Okay, so it's done. And I'm going to use these crystals to sh give you a little example of what it would be like if you put something into it. So you're just going to... I mean, this part's pretty self-explanatory. You just put them into the bag. If you made it this far, you could easily do this, hopefully. Okay, and then, once those are in there, you're just going to pull on this string. That's going to tighten, just like that. See that? And there you go, and they will not fall out. And to open it back up, you just pull like that. Like this, and it just opens right back up. You can- Ooh! One of them got away! And uh, Find that later. The struggles of life. <laughs> struggles of life. <laughs> but yeah, there you go. It's good. You can make it big, you can make it small, you can make it out of leather, you can make it out of silk. I don't like silk. You can make it out of whatever you want. And Fancy. And yeah, and like if you want to be really secure, you could like, after you pull it, you could like wrap this around it. See, and then you could like tie a knot like that and that would never come on and you could hang it right just like that right on your wall what are your crystals or your money or your eyeballs or your grapes or your your rocks or your toilet paper your toilet paper why if would you, you have it in this bag oh tissues your tissue paper your fire kit whatever if you're gonna do leather you could oil treat it and make it waterproof <laughs> If you're gonna do it, what if you're trying to make a waterproof leather? I suggest making the stitches a lot more tight together, and possibly um, on the seam, putting candle wax or any kind of wax, and that could almost probably make it hold water actually, and you can carry that with you if you're into that sort of thing. So there you go. I um, I hope you liked our make it. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you liked our make it. <laughs> make it. Okay, no, for real. I hope you liked our. <laughs> I knew it. Hope you liked our make it video. Yes. Uh, comment, like, subscribe. I'm. I have Instagram now. Oh my god! Yes. I have Instagram. 
I'm it's official in the description. In, in the description. Follow it. Love me. Hug me. Cuddle with me. Don't do that. He doesn't post good stuff, so yeah. I'm gonna. No, I'm just looking at Like me. I'll post all no, the good just, stuff. Just post a photo of that. Uh, oh, I'm yes. I'm gonna post that. I'm gonna post me licking that. Wow. Yes. Straight it's time. Post it. I'll do oh, that. Yes. That's gonna be... That's gonna be right on Instagram.